Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over all eight of the brand new Fenty Beauty Snap Eyeshadow Palettes. I wanted to make sure to do a look with every single one of these. So I have been working on this video since 8.30 this morning. It is now 3.01. And uh, yeah, I got it accomplished though. I have it for you. I did every single one of these. So all together with this look included, there's nine different looks. I didn't show you this one. However, it's super easy. I'll tell you how I achieved it at the end. Before I get into all eight of those looks, I'm gonna get into the details of the eyeshadow palettes, give you guys the swatches, then I will get into all of the looks and then I will give you guys my opinions and which ones are my favorites at the end. The official full name of these are the Snap Shadow Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palettes. Like I said, there are eight different ones and they retail for $25 a piece. However, if you buy two, you're going to get $5 off. So for every two that you get, you're automatically going to get $5 off. So you can get two for 45 instead of 50. Another really cool thing about these is that they snap together, which is in the name. <laughs> so I have two right here and you literally can just take them and snap them together. And then you have this one palette that will open up on each side. So for traveling, if you decided you wanted to bring two different palettes with you, they click together. So I just, I just picked up two random ones right now. They click together and then they are just like that. I think that's really nifty. I love little things like that. Also, all of these are numbered. They each have a name, but they also have a number on them. So right here I have snapped together number eight and number three. I'm gonna go in order of one through eight and show you guys all of the swatches and the names for each of the palettes. So this is number one, which is called the True Neutrals palette. The packaging on each of these are plastic. You do get a mirror on the inside of each of them. And then it says Fenty Beauty right on top. And then on the back, you have all of the shade names. For the number one True Neutrals, we have Nookie Rookie, Simma Down, Tequila Night, Velvet Cuffs, Come and get it, and F gotta go. Number two, we have the Cool Neutrals palette. The shades are You There, Wife It Up, Risky Riches, Up a Class, Hey Auntie, and Getting Toasty. Number three is the Deep Neutrals Nudie Booty, Heaven Scent, Smash or Pass, Fire Freak, Shots Fired, No Fudge Given. Number four, for this one is the rose palette and the shade names are sleep over lil miss stunt queen sugar shock spice trip and diva fever number five is peach this is the one that i actually currently have on my eyes and for the colors we have bellini baby churro high pumpkin peach me butter rum shoot your shot number six is the smoky palette this one includes the shades that deep chestnuts you up second date patty cakes and tan lines next up we have number seven this one is called cadet money mission takeover glamo camo fatigue she salute and good cookie Number eight, the last palette, is the only one that does not have any matte shades in it, and it's called the Pastel Frost Palette. The shades include Muva's Boy, Moola La, Light Up, Ice Cream Kisses, Lady Pimp, and Dirty Denim. Until just now, I had not looked at the names of the shades of the shadows, <laughs> and I had to stop a few times and giggle because some of those names were really cute, and I like the little ways that she spelled them. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the eight different looks, and like I said, I will tell you how I achieved this eye as well. I did this a little differently than normal because of my voice. I felt like if I sat here and did eight different tutorials, I was going to lose my voice, I'm not sure if you can hear it. Like I'm getting better, but my voice sounds like I'm getting worse. <laughs> it's just, you guys know how colds and stuff like that go. So I didn't want to risk me actually losing my voice. So I am going to be showing you guys the colors that I'm using. I'm going to write the name of the brush that I'm using, but I'm going to play music while I'm doing the tutorials and showing you guys how these palettes perform just again to save my voice let's go ahead and get into those these are not in any particular order i just kind of was picking them up putting them on my eyes and then going along with the next and then afterwards i will get into my thoughts 
Podcast.
for the look that I'm wearing right now, using the peach palette, super duper easy. All I did was take this middle shade down here and I put it all over the lid and then slightly up into the crease. I buffed it out with this shade right here. So it's basically those two shades all over and just blown out. And then I took this one and put it on my inner corner. And that is it. It literally took like three minutes for me to do. And then of course I'm wearing a bold lip puffin of course all right now let me get into my thoughts on the palettes overall i feel like the entire collection is really well done i feel like there is something here for everybody i love that you have a little bit of color you have cool tones in here you have warm tones in here you have lighter tones and deeper tones i think that she did a really good job with really making each palette different so that you're not looking at these and like, man, I've got, you know, this shade and this palette and this shade and this palette that are exactly the same. With that being said, obviously there's some that I like a little bit more than others. I want to tell you guys which ones are my favorites. I feel like it's kind of obvious that peach is going to be one of my favorites. I love peachy tones and coral tones, stuff like that. And obviously this is the one that I grabbed for to wear again. So this is one of my favorites. I also really like number three. This is the deep neutral palette. Oh, I just love the colors in here. I love the dimension, the depth, and just it's really beautiful. Third favorite is the number seven, which is called Cadet. And this is the one with the green and the yellow. It's just a really pretty look. I know I have several palettes like this though, so <laughs> I lean towards these type of colors. I just think that they're gorgeous. So those are my top three when it comes to all eight of the palettes. I want to say I felt like all of the mattes really worked very nicely. I thought that they were pigmented. I felt like they were very easy to use. I don't think that these are going to be hard for people to blend out. I don't think you're going to have to take a lot of time with them. Some of them you do have to build up just a little bit more, but not in a way that's like you're sitting there and having to add and add and add. Just a few of them require just a little bit extra. Like this yellow right here is definitely pigmented, but I had to go in a couple of times to get the amount of pigmentation that I wanted right on this top corner of my eye, but it still, it was there. And whenever I blended everything else into the eye, the yellow didn't go away. And that's really what I look for. I don't like to see patchiness. I don't like to see things start getting muddy or things just disappearing. And none of these did that. So I'm really happy about that. One thing I do have to say is that with this palette right here, this is one that I was more excited about. I love smoky eyes. I love this shade right here. I think that the sparkle in it is just beautiful, but I think that the black in this is not black enough. This is going to be a black that's really great for people who like to build, but my problem with it is that we have these two gray shades. They are so close in color that with these grays, I felt like this black should be more intense because if you were looking at my eye, I feel like you would think I had the gray on the outer corner instead of this black. So this is one of my least favorite just because we have two of these shades right here and then the black wasn't as intense. However, I just absolutely love this one. <laughs> I also want to mention this shade. <laughs> I did get fallout with several of the palettes. Uh, easy to wipe away. No big deal. But this shade right here, I noticed <laughs> whenever I went to go wipe my makeup off, I saw that it was all on top of my brow. I'm like, how did it even get up there? I don't know what happened. But yeah, that ended up somehow way up there. The pastel palette is really pretty. However, this one I really had to work with and pack on. The green worked really, really well. That one I had no issues with. And then the blue at the very end, no issues with that either. So these two shades, super duper easy. I haven't tried out the purple. I played with a gold a little bit, but that was off camera. These shades right here, you have to really kind of keep going back in and adding in. So you saw I went in with a fluffy brush, the synthetic brush, and then I also went in with a 242 and packed on even more. So it's just something to keep in mind that you are going to have to really layer these if you want them to be even, I know that they are a pastel shade, but I still want to have the vibrancy out of them. I know I feel like that contradicts itself, but I think you guys know what I mean. This is the cool neutrals but I feel like I can get a smoky look just like I did out of the smoky palette. So if I was going to pick between the two, while I do like the actual glittery black shade that I had all over my lid, I think I would pick this one over the smoky one. So if you're going back and forth in between the two, I would pick this one. 
I felt like this one created a beautiful look. Which color are you? True neutrals. I love this shade right here. I feel like you can really make it super opaque and it blends out really nicely. I have the same thing with this shade here. This one really impressed me. So if I was going to pick a fourth palette to be in my favorites, this would be the fourth one. I just think this is one that I will definitely end up grabbing for. It's a basic palette, but it works really nicely. And something I want to mention about the metallics is that they're not all created the same. Some of the metallics are a little bit more intense, like the deep neutrals while well, like this shade right here it's really pretty it's really smooth and you can definitely tell that it's a metallic but it is softer on the eye none of them do I think did not work though I just want to mention that they aren't all the same they do have different levels of intensity getting into the rose palette this one was really beautiful I was shocked by it's the same type of formula that was in the smoky palette this color right here when I first swatched it I was like this is just not good like even swatched it right right now like it doesn't look like it's going to do much but when I'm packing it on top of my primer and all I had on was the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer I packed this on and I just think it is so pretty I really like the eye look that I got with this and I really like these shades this shade in here as well as the one that's in the smoky palette I just think that they're really pretty because they have a lot of dimension to them I really like the shades that she chose for this palette I felt like it worked really really well this was the first one that I picked up I just I was really really happy with it I really like the shades that she chose for the palette and then the different textures in here it's just a really beautiful pinky rose palette so I really like that one so would I suggest these palettes absolutely I think that these are really beautiful I definitely have my favorites and the ones that I probably won't pick up for as much but overall I just think that she did a fabulous job I know I probably don't even sound excited but I am I think that these are really pretty it's just I'm um, my head <laughs> Please let me know down below what you guys think about these. Did you pick any of these up? Are you planning on picking them up? Let me know which one was your favorite eye look, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.